Aloha. What's going on, my wonderful, beautiful people? Here at Freedom Reader today, and hopefully my audio thing's working. I, this is the camera that's not quite, I, I know I can't shut up about my audio being good or not, and it's, the fact is, I, I don't know if it's good or not. I'm running on completely on faith here, hopefully it's good. But my other camera should be back pretty soon. Anyway, I'm here at Freedom Breeder today and I wanted to show you guys some of the awesome snakes they hung out. Oh, yeah, I'm slacking, huh? Jesse, does see, the thing that guy doesn't know is that I'm showing some snakes off that he's probably not gonna be showing off for another few weeks. So I'm jumping the gun here on him. He has no idea, but I'm gonna show you guys the snake. They're, they hashed out some freaking phenomenal snakes and I haven't been hashing out anything recently because it's the off season for me, but I figured you guys might want to see some really sweet looking snakes. Also, Mm. If you're in Sacramento today, then you should come up to the NorCal Herb Society meeting. We're having a, they're having their annual potluck barbecue style, it's like 5.30. So if you're in Sacramento, you should come on up there. I'll put a link down in the description for the event so you can find the address and all that kind of good stuff. 5.30, and I think it goes to about 9.30. We're just gonna be hanging out, having a good time. So if you're in Sacramento and you wanna hang out, that'd be the place to go do it. Let's go inside. Bam, now you see what I've done to take care of my audio problem. I got it plugged in over here. I just didn't want to take the chance that my audio wasn't going to be coming out nice and crispy. And uh, I can't wait to get my other camera back so I don't have to deal with this mess anymore. But the other day here on the Freedom Breeder channel, they did the giveaway for the Cocoa Block Shaker. And the great thing is, it's even better than we could have hoped because the guy that won wants to pass it forward, pay it forward, and is giving somebody else this uh, this shaker. So I thought that was really cool of him. Uh, Robert Heron, congratulations on your win and also congratulations, congratulations on being such an awesome human that you want to pass it on to somebody else. That's awesome. But what's even more awesome are these snakes. I'm sure some of you guys, Mr. Sexton, I don't, I don't remember what it was you called me, like an audiophobe or noise noisophobe or something, it's accurate. I just, it just bothers the hell out of me. I'm sure a lot of you guys are tired of hearing me complain about or even discuss the fact that I'm having audio issues with this microphone thing because it probably sounds great right now so I'm like probably complaining about nothing but it'll be really nice to not have to worry about it anymore because it bothers me a lot obviously and trust me the, the background noise in this room look at that server thing over there that thing is like that thing pumps out this crazy noise that if I wasn't using some kind of high quality microphone on top of the camera or like I'm doing over there with that little deal <laughs> You guys would, trust me, it would be no good. Everybody would hate it. I would hate it, everybody would hate it. It'd be if we'd be a hate group. Snakes, that's what we came here to see. So the first thing I wanna do is give you guys an update on this little beauty right here. This is that pastel and she clown, pastel and she bamboo clown that was produced by a male that these guys got from me. And so I've got, you know, emotional attachment to this snake. And it's also, now that it's shed out, it's looking pretty phenomenal i think this is actually this ended up being the world's first so i really messed up by giving these guys my my mail but you know we're all friends we're all family it's all good we share in the glory bask in the glory of this beautiful snake what do you guys think about that snake i like it a lot and just like everything i like i've got no personal attachment or bias to this snake it's just a strictly uh objective it's very objective but i love it so much I wasn't planning to show you guys this next snake here, but it's a pastel super enchi albino and it's possible calico and possible orange dream. It's just super pink and different than anything I've seen, but here, take a look. Like you see those pinks that are up in the spots that are, you know, basically usually white. The, the color's coming across pretty good on the video, I think, so. Yeah, that's a good looking snake right there. Not to mention the powerhouse, everything that goes to it is gonna be enchi and also be, you know, if you breed this to an albino, everything's gonna be albino too. What I would probably do if I was doing the pairing for this snake is put it with just a straight albino, just to get a bunch of Enchi albinos and also prove out, you know, that, that Enchi and that orange dream, or not the Enchi, sorry, the uh, calico and the orange dream, but also make all albinos while doing it, all Enchi albinos. Either are working with or are planning to work with Calico or Orange Dream, 
these next few snakes I'm about to show you, you're gonna be really interested in seeing the possibilities of what you could be working with. What's up, dude? You wanna get shown off? Looking nice. All right, check this guy out. All right, so this is a super orange dream, possible super orange dream, calico chocolate, also possible yellow belly, and a possible fire or disco. So that's a crazy snake right there. Uh, Something about that, the calico orange dream stuff, man. Just crazy looking, crazy looking. I remember when I was over at Billy's at Mutation Creation, some of his calico orange dream action was, were some of my favorite snakes over there. And I don't have calico or orange dream anywhere in my breeding stock, and I'm about to change that. Maybe with one of these snakes that I'm about to show you guys. Wait till you see the next one's coming up. And look at the, the oranges and pinks that are coming up in this snake, dude. It's just off the hook. He's like, yeah, I'm beautiful, I know it. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna take your picture, dog. Oh, Jesse's rubbing off on me. Let's check it out. It's like, it's like a, almost like a low white pied kind of thing in a way, sort of, kind of. All right, so it's just gonna get more and more wild. This is a orange dream, possible soup orange dream, fire calico, yellow belly chocolate. Explaining or understanding exactly what's going on here with the pattern is kind of beyond my comprehension. And understanding. So I'm just gonna show them to you and kind of just bask in the amazingness that is Orange Dream and Calico put together with lots of other possibilities. That's the thumbnail. Yeah, the peaches and oranges on that beauty are quite spectacular, wouldn't you say? We got more. So this one is basically that last snake, but without the yellow belly. So we got a fire calico chocolate orange dream. And again, just those, those peaches and oranges and apparently uh, attitude as well is a thing. Yeah, I think the motto is that I just need to stop sleeping on this orange dream calico action. That's the theme for the day. Stop sleeping so much. Uh, so there you go. There's some more of that awesomeness and niceness right there on this snake, man. Ah, oh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm gonna see if I can find one more thing for you guys that's really different and unique. Actually, I'll, I'll show you this. So this is kind of like that last snake, um, but we're just kind of mixing and matching genes. So this is a super orange dream uh, disco slash fire calico yellow belly so without the chocolate it does say possible chocolate but it's not a certain thing and you can see it's just slightly different a little different action going on there a little little darker on top <laughs>
friends, that's gonna do it for me here today, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna be spending the rest of the day filming some stuff with the Freedom Beard guys. And, uh, well, so the next video, I'm gonna hang out with my buddy Nick over at Renowned Reptiles so we can check out some of his snakes. So you guys that have been dying for some snake videos, this little section coming up here. But again, if you're in Sacramento today, come on up and check us out, NorCal Herb Society. Mm, link in the description. You guys, have yourselves a great day, man. I, I have a good one. I'll see you soon. Three very important things that I want to talk to you about in this video. Uh, one of them being this, uh, it's just a huge load of crap. Also, I'm gonna talk about what happened on the live stream that got blocked, it seems, in most countries. And I wanna make sure that you guys are ready for that $500 giveaway that's coming up. Today is the last day to enter it, so I'm gonna make sure you have the information you need.